We're at Bear Flats. The whole area here is full of ferns. Totally green springtime. This is the last place for you to fill your canteen. You got, I think, four, four and a half miles to Baldy. Here's a better view of Bear Flats. That brown patch there in the winter and spring, it's a beautiful field of ferns, big patch of ferns. It's really beautiful right now. It's all dead, but by the way, that's the last place on this trail you can get water. 1.6 miles into the trail, you can get water from a stream, which I did. I dropped some tablets in it. It's purifying on its way up. Another view of the city. Way out in the distance over there, I can make out Catalina. Don't know if you'll get it on film. It's way out there. The moon's already out. Be timber and thunder, telegraph. Baldy's not really in view yet. It's on the other side of this hill. Back here a few more miles. Come up to another stream. One guy has credit for this, this trail to Mount Baldy. I forget his name, but the house, his house lays right back there and supposedly his daughter still lives there. They drug a piano back to that house somehow. Anyway, these uh, rivers and mountains are, have numerous gold mines. There's a big gold rush in the East Fork, which is just on the other side of this hill. But while walking along this, I found this piece of quartz. And, I mean, chances are it's real or slim. But Colin, check it out. You said, I hope you find gold. I'm bringing it with me. <laughs> I might have struck it. Anyway, I'll let you guys know. This is what I was able to chip out of there. Chances are it being real or slim. But stranger things have happened. Back there's the way we came in, the way I came in. Bear Flats is quite a ways down there. Here's some of the view. Back there's Ice House. I have another video. Um, all the way back to Ice House. And that'd be the three T's. Uh, let's see, it'd be Timber, Telegraph, Thunder, and there's a ski lodge back there. Let's see if I can find it. That's where I'll be coming out tomorrow morning. Down a trail back there. I've got my car parked at the ski lift at the end of the Baldy Road. I caught a ride back down to the church where I started. I still have quite a ways to go. I'm getting up high enough now where I can actually see the sea. You can see the ocean. There's Long Beach Signal Hill way out there. But if you look off to the left, you see the ocean and Catalina. It's funny because the guy disappearing around that corner right there is a Swedish guy. Last year about the same time I was hiking this mountain and I met him at about the same spot. Same hiking staff can recognize his boots and his accent anywhere. He recognized me too. Small world. A little bit of snow left over there. And all the crevices. He went to the top. He said there's snow at the top. So. We're up high enough and it's such a clear day that you can not only see the ocean from here, but you can see 26 miles across it. What you're looking at right there is Catalina Island. 
the low part right there is Twin Harbors. If you take a boat across there, you can do a nine mile hike to the west to a primitive campground right on the beach. Uh, it's called Parsons Landing. You can surf fish from your tent. I did it a couple years ago and was rewarded with a 24 inch halibut, a legal halibut off the shore. I filleted it and cooked it and shared it with another guy and another girl I was sharing the beach with that night. It was great. One of the few places in California you can still do that. I just noticed not only can you see Catalina, but there's another island out there. I believe that's one of the Channel Islands. I may be mistaken. Going, going. Gone. There's one thing my daughter wanted me to bring her back from this trip. She wanted me to bring her back to sunset. Okay, I've got one obstacle to clear before getting to Baldy. It's on the back side of this. You can barely make it out. It's commonly known as West Baldy or Fault Baldy. But I met some hikers headed down pretty quick. They didn't want to spend the night up here because they said a large cat was mountain lion was spotted in the area and they've been seen all over here recently and uh, I just ran across scat from a cat so <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna sleep tonight one more view before it goes totally black moon's already out Next time I turn it on, it'll be tomorrow morning, I believe. And um, I'm going to keep hiking through the night to the summit. I saw some more scat in the trail back there. And I know there's cats in the area. And I don't want to come face to face with one. Almost near the top. Snow. I'm way high. I never expected to do a night hike to Baldy. That's what it's turned into though. What I'm doing here is I'm almost out of water. I need water for the rest of the night. I need water for tomorrow. So I'm going to take some of the snow underneath the bottom. Put it in there and boil it. Make some water. It's a good idea to always pack some foil with you. You can use it as a windbreak. You can use it put on the bottom so you don't catch the brush on fire. And I also use this, made a funnel out of it for pouring this water into the bottle. I didn't lose any, so got a half a liter. That's gonna have to be me till morning. Okay, I've been traveling through snow about the last hour. And uh I made myself some crampons at work. If I make it through this tonight, I'll show them to you tomorrow in the light. It looks like I've got one more ascent about the last thousand feet and I'll be at the summit. I was beginning to think I took a wrong turn. I think I made a mistake. This is not a night hike trail. Okay, I didn't quite make it to the top. It got really cold. There's a lot of snow. I don't want to slip. A woman named Michelle Yu died up here last week by slipping. And as you can see, this is a Golite Shangri-La 3 shelter. There's no floor. One center pole, or you can hang it from a tree. I've got the new Thermarest with the aluminum coating. I've got the Trail Pro, Pro Light, North Face, uh, uh, it's the North Face Catch Me Out 20, but I've got a liner in it too. So, 
that's it. I'm gonna hit the hay. It's uh, 10:40. Slow moving in the snow and dark in the night in the dark. I had my doubts. I still do. The crampons that I made, they're working quite well. I made them at work out of some scrap steel. I them together real quick when I decided I was going to come. But there might be snow. I'm glad I did. They've been real lifesavers. But I've totally lost the trail now. Oh, check that out. Coyote or wolf? Probably not a wolf up here, but a coyote. I can't find the trail. But I've got to make my way up there. I think I'm going to work my way around this way. Come up. See at the top. I've decided before starting to go back up this. Um, found a good place with some clean snow I dug underneath. And I'm making some more water. Hopefully it's enough. It's the last of my fuel. I've got some wet fires, but... Eh. Anyway, I've got a splitting headache and uh, aspirin, but nothing to take them with. That's the water. After coming around, coming around that last night, camping on top of that hill over there, mountain, I lost the trail, snow. After climbing up this, I found the trail again. Thank God. Baldy, that way. Backbone, that way. Our car home, that way. Right down here is where Michelle Yu, the down hiker, took her fatal slip. Ended up way down over there. Little fish falls, little fish fork. The Baldy Summit is just ahead. And then it's all downhill from there. Actually, down a little bit by the backbone and up to the ski lift. But then everything's down. Thank God. I will never do this again. <laughs> Mount San Antonio, otherwise Mount Baldy. Elevation 10,064 feet. The highest peak in all of this part of California. The only other one being yet is San Gregorio. 11,500, I believe. Let me show you the backside. Amazing. shelter quite a while to build hope to God she wasn't so alive as she fell it's cruel to say but This is the turning point for my hike. on the Bring it. The 
years ahead. This is known as the Devil's Backbone. It's a clear day again. Snow lit the deserts. Ski hut. My way out. Catalina. And the narrow path home. Over there is where I camped last night. I made my way over Baldy, back down, and the ski slope, the ski lift. I think another mile or two and I'm at the car. I left the road too long. He came down through there. And there's my car. The most beautiful sight I've seen in two days. I'm gonna go get a hamburger and a Coke.